I'm here at the Michigan Paracon, one of the, the biggest, most fun, uh, one of these crazy uh, conventions in the country, and with good friend uh, Greg Newkirk, uh, he and his lovely wife have this, uh, well tell us about what the heck it is that you do. This is the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and the Occult. It's the world's only mobile museum of the unexplained. So we have haunted objects, purportedly cursed objects, and a lot of supernaturally significant artifacts. And our mission is really just to bring these to people all across the country, uh, people who might not ever have the chance to interact with stuff like this. And so instead of them having to travel all the way to the Northeast for a museum or the Southwest, we come to them. Now, now most people would be happy to never have to interact with use of these items. Yeah. But for those of you who are like-minded, this is a really cool thing. And what also I love, you know, I've seen you at a number of these things in, in different states over the last two years, and it evolves. Your presentation evolves because this, the objects themselves kind of, they take on their own lives, and, and they, the story continues as you learn more information, as they tell you more information sometimes. So, uh, speaking of that, the story that grabbed me the most when you when I first saw you guys was the story of the crone. Yeah. Uh, now, this was uh, an, a haunted artifact of some sort that kind of came straight out of a horror movie, found in a cave, a wooden wooden sculpture yeah. with nails pounded into its eyes, and it, it made itself known in your home pretty quickly. Easily, yeah. Uh, we started experiencing this smell of swampy pond water. Uh, eventually there were wet footprints in weird places, like even on the back of the couch. Dana called me out one day and she's like, why were you standing on the couch? I don't know what you're talking about. And uh, yeah, two wet footprints on the couch. And I mean, stuff like the sounds of running water, banging on the, on the walls of the house, uh, to the point where we just finally said, okay, we're probably not going to get along, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just going to give you your own space. And we kept her locked up. And you'll notice she's actually not in the collection this year. No, exactly. And I know there was, at one point, talk of trying to return this object. Yeah. What's the latest update on that? We know where about, sort of, to take yeah. it. We know the, the, the land. We just have to find the cave. And now we're getting to the point where we might not even bother with that. I think if it's in the same vicinity, at least, sure. we'll just bury it. And you guys know that she's somewhat mobile, so maybe she can walk the rest of the way if you get most yeah, of the Yeah, I'm not worried about it. I'll, yeah. she, I mean, she'll let us know if she's unhappy, and then we can go back and dig her up and put her somewhere else. There we go. We don't have to worry about that. And then, lastly, and this one isn't about an artifact, but it's a place that uh, Wendy um, was holding the camera and I visited, that you guys also visited, and we each had experiences. Uh, Stoll Cemetery. Oh my god, Stoll. <laughs> I it's love weird. it. There is yeah. a Stoll Cemetery, if you don't know uh, the legend of Stoll Cemetery, it's super famous, especially in people who've been ghost hunting for a very long oh, time. Sorry. People probably went to the Shadowlands website and saw it there. Exactly, back in the um, day. All these different places. And it, it's supposed to be the, you know, where the devil walks into hell at night. So, uh, I love Stoll. Whether or not it is haunted, there was weird stuff that was going on. Uh, like fire on the ground. Literally fire. Literally fire. We have no idea where it came from. Um, but we, uh, whether or not the legends are true, yeah. I love the place because it is such a cool legend and it's in the middle of the world. No, I, I love it as well. It captured my attention. And then Wendy and I went years after you were there and it was raining, so there was no open flame. Yeah. But there were scorch marks all over the earth. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah. It's, it's not done burning. Hell is nearby. It's if you're near stall. All right. Well, where can people go to find out a bit more? If people want to know more about us, they can go to Paramount. Museum.com. All right, thank you so much. Thanks, All right. <laughs>